Well, apparently it was on the rails. Things were going along smoothly. And all of a sudden the government decided that they are going to retake the school and convert it into a temporary high school. When Sunyut started 65 years ago, we started in the plateau. A lot of people grew up in the plateau. Baron Bing High School is in the plateau. And we felt it was important. We would never leave our roots. We would never leave the community stranded. Well, the biggest memories I have is when we used to be at Park Avenue from Expo 67 to 81, we had uh, eight little rooms in a basement. And we moved here, we had 66 rooms in a gym. And Earl de la Prell, the other co-founder and myself, we used to sweep our own floors here. We couldn't afford the cost of a caretaker. Well, there's a lot of memories, right? I, I played basketball here when I was uh, in 83, 84. I started playing for, uh, for Earl. But what hurts most is when I walk around and the balls are empty here and it gives us, gives us a sad feeling at the end of an era. The process of moving has been a very challenging one. You know, it's 37 years we've been here and we've accumulated a lot of stuff like anybody else. We've put stuff away. Oh, we're going to need that one day. It took us many, many months to find us something that was reasonably priced and that could handle the, uh, the day to day uh, operations that we, uh, we provide for the community. Yeah, for, for us, it, it was very difficult because we encompass so many different programs, right? We go from distributing food, uh, distributing uh, items for uh, fire victims, to a gym, to a football team, uh, to a seniors program, so the warehousing part of it. There, there, there's just so many things that we do. It was very difficult to try to find something that could house all of that, that, that you know, something was as simple as having a dock. In the end, uh, I believe, and many of my coworkers believe, that we found a good spot for a temporary place. For the next three, four years, uh, until options become available, we'll be in our place at 6700 Park Avenue. We're looking at probably 60 to 70,000 square feet of space. You're going to need that kind of timeline to get it all done. So that's where we kind of said three to five years. Uh, both Earl and Sid, uh, when we started this process, asked us to make sure that we found something on the plateau. And although Earl is not here to see it happen, you know, that was his wish and that's what's going to happen. This has been the third home for Sun Youth and we need the fourth one to be a long-term one that's efficient and effective and we can give more to the community. That's what we want to do. We've thought about our clients and we thought about people that have reduced mobility. It's very easy for them to get around in the building. So I hope in the end that they appreciate a little bit that it wasn't just about us and our staff and what we do. It's really about the whole community and that's what it always is.